Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. Another little quick video, quick Bible study on Revelations chapter 12. I uh, appreciate you taking this time to watch this video. I want to let everybody know who I'm making this video for. And it's for you who wants to know more about the book of Revelation. Um, just wanted to see what it's all about. You know, I, I encourage you to read the book, pick it up for yourself, read some Bible studies. See how this all comes together in this world we live in. It cannot be just a coincidence that the Bible was written over the span of 1,500 years or so by 40-something different types of authors, and they all and it all comes together in one just beautiful story that God is telling us about His creation, what what He why He created us, and how He's going to redeem us. Uh, from this uh, sinful world that we live in and this sinful nature that we've been born into, um, God gives us to God gives it to us uh, totally from the book of Genesis to the end of Revelation. So I just challenge you to read this for yourself, and I just don't listen to your preacher on Sunday, but really, really read this and ask God for wisdom and, and knowledge. So I'm going to pick it up here in Revelation chapter 12. I'm going to read it right here from the uh, New King James Version. Uh, I'll let you guys know I'm doing this little Bible study here, uh, John MacArthur Revelation. That's where I'm getting this from. And I'm going to read uh, Revelation 12. I'm going to point out a couple of things. We'll make this video as quick as we can here. Keep it moving, right? So uh, verse, uh, excuse me, chapter 12 reads, uh, Now a great sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a garland of twelve stars. Then, being with child, she cried out in labor and in pain to give birth. And another sign appeared in heaven. Behold, a great fiery red dragon having seven heads and ten horns and seven diadems on his heads. His tail drew a third of the stars of heaven and threw them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman who was ready to give birth to devour her child as soon as it was born. She bore a male child who was, who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. And her child was caught up to God and his throne. Then the woman fled into the wilderness, where she had a place prepared by God that they should flee, that they should flee, feed her there 1,270 days. And war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought with the dragon, and the dragon and his angels fought back. But they did not prevail, nor was a place found for them in heaven any longer. So the great dragon was cast out, the serpent of old, called the devil and Satan, who receives the whole who deceives the whole world he has he was cast to the earth and his angels were cast out with him then i heard a loud voice saying in heaven now salvation and strength and the kingdom of god and the power of his christ have come for the accuser of our brethren who accused them before our god day and night has been cast down and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and excuse me i got to sneeze but it's not coming out just yet and by the word of their testimony, and they did not love their lives to, to the death. Therefore, rejoice, O heavens, and you who dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea, for the devil has come down to you, having great wrath, because he knows that he has a short time. Now, when the dragon saw that he had been cast down to earth, he persecuted the woman who gave birth to the male child. But the woman was given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness to her place where she is nourished for a time and times and half a time from the presence of the serpent. So the serpent spewed water out of his mouth like a flood after the woman that he might cause her to be carried away by the flood. But the earth helped the woman and the earth opened its mouth and swallowed up the flood which the dragon had spewed out of his mouth. And the dragon was enraged with the woman and he went to make war with the rest of her her offspring who kept the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. Amen. So there's Revelation 12. So I made two other videos before this one. I hope you take the time to watch them because it's going to break down who the characters are, the woman, the male child, the, you know, the serpent, who those people are. I'll, I'll let you keep on digging into that if this is the first video you've seen in this little series. So, you know, I know it'll come to you. God's going to reveal that for you, uh, just like he revealed it for me. And, and I'm not anybody special. I'm, I'm a sinner just like you watching this video. And I'm believing in Jesus Christ to save me from this crazy world that we live in. And I'm just being obedient to what he's given us. He's given us the Holy Spirit in our lives. 
to give us the difference between right and wrong, to keep on correcting us uh, so we correct our lives and give righteousness uh, back to God uh, through Jesus. So I'm going to point out in verse 4 that this is the part of the Bible that gives us some insight about Satan and what happened with Satan, you know, what, he, what he's been given power to. Jesus in, in the book of John uh, chapter 8 verse 44 calls the devil um, our father. <laughs> we, we, he's talking to his disciples. Jesus says we are the children of the devil um, because we have the sinful nature um, without, you know, Trust in God, you know, we, we can kind of divert back to our sinful ways, uh, which are greediness and just uh, perverseness and, you know, just not necessarily doing the right thing, being very self-centered, okay? It takes a lot to, um, to give God the glory, to give Him, you know, to trust in Him for our provision, uh, for our protection, and for the acceptance that we always strive for in our lives. We're constantly going after those three things. And really, until we give those three things to God, we're constantly, you know, just trying to seek those things. But when we, when we can trust God for our provision, something magical happens. When we can trust God for our protection, you know, it, it's, it's just we're giving Him the honor and the glory, and He rewards us back for that. So, going off that tangent back to uh, the devil here to Satan, we get in Revelation chapter 4, uh, uh, verse 4, we see here that we're given an insight that his tail, uh, which the dragon's tail, so I give you the dragon is Satan right here, it tells us a little bit later, but the dragon drew a third of the stars of heaven and threw them to the earth. So this is the insight where we get to see that the devil was so crafty that he deceived one third of the angels of heaven. These stars are significant or type and shadows or whatever you want to call it for angels of heaven. How do I get that? It, it's just, I really don't know. I can't tell you, but I've, I've had other people study this word and bring it down to us. This little um, study guide says that Satan's original rebellion resulted in one third of the angelic host joining his insurrection and becoming demons. So, you know, that's John MacArthur saying it. I didn't make it up. And there's other people that say the same thing. You know, this is the devil, you know, deceived one third, a third of the angels. So how do you get angels that know God and see him? How do you deceive them to believe you that you're going to be God and you're going to overthrow the mighty God and take over heaven? I don't know how that's possible, you know, but this is what the Bible tells us, that that's how crafty our enemy is, that he deceived one third of the angels of heaven and they came down with him, you know, because they, they had that pride in their hearts that they thought they could be God, like a lot of us do. We, we think that, you know, we're God. You know, we, you know, I can, I, you know, I take this to the, you know, say this to the kids, I can, I can bring you into this world and I can take you out of. That's what we tell our kids sometimes, you know, because we think we're God sometimes. But if we don't put God on the throne, I mean, we're just creatures. I mean, we're just created. At least that's what I believe. You know, you, you're, you're welcome to have your own opinion. I encourage you to have your own opinion. You know, don't don't listen to what somebody tells you and, and just believe it true. You know, verify, test it. You know, that's how I've came around to this. You know, I was all over the place before, but God, through His Holy Spirit, guided me back to this word. And this word is beautiful. I mean, you think I thought Revelations was all this gloom and doom. I mean, it is a lot of gloom and doom here. But you realize what it's for. You know, what God is doing. He has to renew this earth. Um, it's just, it's bad out here, you know, God, that Satan is the prince of this world, he's the God of this world, God has given him authority, you know, when you understand that, it kind of makes a little bit of sense of why the things are going the way they are, you know, and it's going to get a little bit bad before it gets good again, um, you know, so, I, you know, I'm not making this up, this is what God's telling us in the book of Revelation, study it for yourself, so, to go, you know, to continue on with that, I'll just say, this Satan, you know, he's, he started war in heaven. He wasn't successful with that. He came down, you know. He tried to just basically destroy man, you know, constantly, you know, giving men some uh, evil thoughts, uh, you know, making them think that they're like God, that they can do what God can do, but only God can do what he can do. Um, and, and that's what we're seeing, you know. We're, we're, we're seeing God or Satan propping up men to think that they're God. Um, and if they, if, they don't, if they don't think that, then he's persecuting them. Okay, we see that, you know, this, this Satan, this dragon enraged with the woman because he can't get the woman. He goes after the saints. And what are the saints? The saints are the folks that keep God's commandments, right? Who keep the testimony of Jesus Christ. That's you and I who believe Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior. We are those saints. And guess what? The enemy hates that, okay? He hates I'm making this video and telling you about this, all right? I'm reaching somebody, and I know it, and, and to God be the glory, 
Um, but guess what? You know, I'm, I got opposition. You know, I, I couldn't even make this video last week because I had opposition. But here I am making it a couple days late for you to study this word on your own. So, look, I'm at 10 minutes. I don't want to make this thing long. I want to make it short. But those are the things I'm covering. Um, Revelations chapter 12, we're talking about Satan, we're talking about the fall, um, and we're giving God the glory because he's given us this story. He's told us the end from the beginning, the beginning from the end. I mean, how good does it get, you know? And so I just encourage you guys to read this for yourself. I encourage you guys to trust God for your provision, your protection, and your acceptance. I, I got to give credit to my pastor because that those are words that come from them and help me to understand who I am in Christ and to live victoriously. So I, I pray and I encourage you guys to live victoriously and just, you know, go out there and, and, and spread this word and let it be uh, infectious to those who have no clue what this is all about. I just it's, it's a blessing. It's a beautiful thing when you understand what Jesus has done for you on the cross. He 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 lived. He died. He rose again and he did it for you. So I just uh, encourage you again to keep on reading this word, challenge it. If it doesn't sound right, challenge it, and God will lead you to the truth. So with that being said, thank you for watching this video. I love you. See you later on the next one.